parade of 500 athletes from 14 countries on Sydney Cricket Ground heralded the opening of the Empire Games by the Governor-General, Lord Wakehurst. In the 100 yards, C.B. Holmes of England was the winner, establishing a new Empire record at 9 and 9 tenths seconds. Aquatic sports were not forgotten. On the Nepean River, New South Wales, England, New Zealand and Australia battled for rowing supremacy, but New Zealand were left far behind when the English eight went into the lead, although Australia hung grimly on. England won by three quarters of a length, victory for the mother country 13,000 miles from home. New Sydney Pool was packed for the swimming and diving events. 110 yards freestyle for women. Mr. Lacey of Western Australia in the far lane led from the start for Miss Lyon of Canada in the lane next to her. This girl is a great swimmer, a sure Australian bet for the next Olympics. She led all the way to win in perfect style, 110 yards in one minute, 10 and one tenth seconds. And last of all, the diving. The ladies' title went to Australian Miss Cook with a back dive recorded by our slow motion camera. In the men's event, Australian Arthur O'Connor gave a most spectacular display. The two and a half open executed in perfect style. But he wasn't good enough to win. Tomlin of England took the Empire title with a double back somersault with Pike. A glorious finish to a week of glorious athletic achievement. <laughs> <laughs>